Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. Have you ever seen the movie Antitrust? I saw a news article earlier, and it I haven't thought about this movie in a minute, but it immediately made me think of this movie. Let's see. In a world where unseen enemies can watch your every move, who can you trust? Ron Philippi, Cruel Intentions, Rachel Lee Cook, She's All That, Claire Forlani, Meet Joe Black, and Oscar winner Tim Robbins star in this fast-paced, sizzling thriller that crackles with genuine intrigue. Considerable suspense and an ingenious, stunningly cinematic payoff. You have to see to believe. Young, brilliant computer whiz Milo Hoffman, Philippi, lands an exciting and lucrative job at the world's largest computer company, Nerve, and picked by powerful CEO Gary Winston to work on a project that will change the way the world communicates. Milo thinks he's found his dream job. Let me go ahead and turn this down and... That's kind of distracting, isn't it? Anyways, Milo thinks he's found his dream job. But when his best friend, Teddy, is brutally murdered and clues lead to Nerve's involvement, Milo becomes obsessed with uncovering the truth. With his cunning and beautiful girlfriend, Forlani, and a sexy programmer, Cook, to help him, Milo races to beat Teddy's murderers at their own cyber game, but as they close in on him, he realizes he may be too late to learn the most important code of all. Keep your friends close. Keep your enemies closer. And now, and know which are which before you're killed. Came out in 2003, or 2001, I believe. Supporting actor, Mystic River. What? Okay. Yeah, 2001. San Mateo Police waited in... Waited to enter home of dead ex-meta engineer Anand Henry, his wife and twin boys a day after performing wellness check when they were called back by new nanny on her first day of work. The night before an ex-meta engineer, his wife and four-year-old twin boys were found dead Monday of an apparent triple murder-suicide in their Bay Area home. Police were called to check on their well-being but didn't enter the residence. DailyMail.com has learned. It wasn't until the next morning that officers decided to enter after receiving another call from the family's new nanny reporting that the family still wasn't answering the door. It was then that cops climbed in through an unlocked window of the $2.1 million home in San Mateo where they made the gruesome discovery. Police sources tell DailyMail.com that they now believe Anand Henry, 37, Alice Benziger, 38, and their children may already have been dead before that first visit, though they are awaiting toxicology results to make a formal determination. But police stand by their initial decision not to answer, saying it wasn't justified given that the door was locked, that there was nothing visible through the windows and no sign of a break-in. That's terrible. Police sources say cops believe the uh, Henry, Mr. Henry, 38, his wife, Alice, and their four-year-old twin boys may have already been dead. Yeah. Why do, I don't know why news sources. Yeah, but he used to work with Meta. The It was a new nanny. So what happened with the old nanny? I think there's more to this story. It's just, I mean... Who is that, that that one guy that murdered his wife and children because he wanted to start a new life? So, I mean, people are capable of it, but it's just hard to believe that somebody just does something like that. It's interesting that they're uh, that he's connected to Meta. I don't know. That just reminded me of that antitrust movie. It's a good movie. I might watch it sometime soon. Anyways, this is the Texas Go Radio Show, and I'm your host, Matorius. As always, till next time.